Yeah, I just brought that today. Hey everybody, so I'm at my antique market this morning. I ended up picking up a pretty cool antique item that combines baseball and military history. And stay tuned for the end of the video because I'll go into detail as to you know what that item's all about and the history of it. So I hope you enjoy watching. Oh yeah, expired. Okay. Seems like a pretty cheap tie. Dude, that's right up here. Yeah, that's cheap. If that's the right price. Should be right. Yeah. Good morning. How's it going? How much is your main? Which one? Your USS main. You're familiar with that? Yeah, the sub or the shot, the ship, the yeah. Spanish American War got sank. Yeah. Blew up. And that's the, that's oh, dated. the first card, yeah. 98. Yeah, we, we have 75 on that. 75? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, I just brought that today. Yeah, right, yeah. I think she's going to let it just Yeah, I'll take it for that. I like. Well, one of these guys in the pictures looks like you, but I forget which one. But yeah, yeah I don't think you were playing. Today. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> and the are the ties five? Are these yeah. five? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll take this guy too. So we'll make it even 80. Okay. My dad has a large photo of that team. Uh, the, you don't see this their stuff very often. There you go. Thank you, Tar. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm a good shot. I mean, it's I know they're favorites, which is surprising, but or they were. I'm a Steel fan. I have enough problems of my own. But yeah. I told these all these Eagle fans around here. I said they were going to take San Francisco, and I think they'll take the Chiefs too because they're yeah. a better team. Yeah, defense. I mean, why did yeah. there no big injuries? Yeah, 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 yeah. And turnovers. That's always the sure, unknown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think I think they will win. Yeah. I'm not a gambler. I was telling him the same thing. I'm not a gambler, but I think if I had to gamble on it, I, I didn't want to jinx them, but I, I think I'd have to lean towards them. Yeah. Yep, they're going on both sides of the ball. And, you, and they never say it out loud, but indirectly, you've got to be rushing, going crazy on Mahomes and have him put the fear of God for injuries. Right. You know? And the good thing with their line, I mean, that, that can change the game when you get after the quarterback like, you know, like that. Yeah. And I just hope it's a good game. Yeah, yeah. That's always, that's always important. Yeah. It's a good, good game good. or a blowout for the Eagles. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm sure you want a good game. So you don't have to stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, New England, the New England game was super nerve-wracking. I was there, too, and it's... Yeah, it's, it's nice to sit there and just be impartial. Yeah, you know, that is, yeah. Yeah, my nails and... yeah no, I, I agree. What's up, Chris? Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, I agree. It's nice to sometimes not have to worry about a game. You're just sitting there enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, sir. Thank you. See ya. Yeah, yeah. This is, a, I think that was a steal. I saw that pile there, yeah. That's what we got. I know you're so much more into like travel locations than what I ever would be. Yeah, yeah. And I could, or I could take time or have a non sport pile or what have you. Although I didn't capture the entire interaction on camera, my buddy was offering me this group of travel pennants. Uh, for thirty dollars, and I did end up buying them. We are, yeah. Really? Yep. Wow. Leaving Friday. Uh, come back Monday, I guess. So who's going? Me, my dad, and my brother-in-law. Yeah. All right. So back from the antique market this morning. So it was sort of a not a ton of buys in this video, but 
First, I bought this group of pennants, and I, I'm not sure if I captured the whole deal on camera, um, but it was $30 for the group. It was from a buddy of mine who does sell a lot of pennants, but he doesn't really deal in travel pennants. So again, 30 was cheap enough. Even though I have so many pennants, they were cheap enough. But there's some cool ones, Gettysburg, Delaware Water Gap, Niagara Falls, Washington, D.C., Canada, cool Native American, uh, Watkins Glen, West Point, another Washington, D.C. And this is the cooler one, or the coolest one in the group, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, just with a cool uh, scene of the battlefield. So again, $30, I think I would be able to sell that one for $30. But So that was the first group. And then secondly, I bought these two items. It was $75 for this photograph, which I'll describe in a second, and then $5 for the tie. Uh, I don't really wear ties, huge Eagles fan. I collect everything Eagles, but it's very rare I wear a tie, so I will sell that, but I still think a steal for five bucks. And this piece, so this is a small cabinet photo of the USS Maine baseball team. And I will tell you in a second the significance of this team. But let me first take this out of the frame and show you this close up. All right, so here's a photograph. Again, it's a small cabinet card. The back has a Key West, Florida photographer mark, as well as a, a Navy a sailor's uh, information, Williams Gensby, it looks like. I got to study that a little closer. USS Wilmington, so he was on another ship in that area, August 2nd, 1898. So again, I'm going to go into details of this team right now. The USS Maine was a battleship commissioned in 1895. And the ship's baseball team, shown here, would win the 1897 Navy Baseball Championship held in Key West, Florida. A large reason for their success was their dominant African-American pitcher named William Lambert, who's in the upper right corner of the photograph. Only two months after the photograph was taken, the Maine was harbored in Cuba to help protect American interests in the Cuban War of Independence. And on February 15, 1898, an explosion would sink the USS Maine, killing 268, which was three quarters of the ship's crew. All of the baseball players perished in the explosion, except for John Bloomer, who's shown in the upper left corner of the photo. There's still some debate as to whether the explosion was related to a Spanish attack or a coal-related accident. The sinking definitely contributed to the start of the Spanish-American War, and as is shown in this button, the USS Maine became a rallying cry for Americans with the motto, to hell with Spain, remember the Maine. Mm -hmm. 